So a statewide computer system outage caused frustration at the Department of Human Services. Many people we spoke with say they did not receive their SNAP benefits. Target 12 consumer investigator Sarah Granelli is live in Providence with the latest. Sarah. Shannon, Mike, we spoke with many people who said they waited for hours in line at DHS. One woman said that she has to decide whether to feed her family or pay her rent on time. Many people stood outside the Department of Human Services in Providence, all for the same reason. This morning I checked my food stamps and I don't have any money on it. According to the Rhode Island Department of Administration, there was an unplanned power disruption at the state's data center that forced state websites to temporarily shut down, including DHS. I don't understand how the, uh, how the system is down. The woman who did not want to go on camera says her family depends on SNAP benefits. Nobody has eaten breakfast, nothing, and now we don't got no food stamps. And this woman who lives at the homeless shelter Crossroads says she hasn't been able to buy food in four days. It's really hard because I got to get food for me and my daughter. State Representative David Morales says the system outage failed the people who needed the help the most. Today is a perfect example of the crisis that our Department of Human Services has been facing. And the worst part of it is there seems to be no sense of urgency to help address this issue. And DHS tells me that they're working as quickly as possible to fix the issue, and hopefully it'll be by the end of the night. Sarah Grinelli, 12 News. The Target 12 investigators are also looking into a statewide computer glitch that forced the Rhode Island DMV to close early and kept people from receiving their SNAP benefits, leading to a line of frustrated people outside the Department of Human Services. Target 12 consumer investigator Sarah Grinelli is live in Providence with what she's learned tonight. Sarah? Shannon DHS tells me they're working quickly to try to get people their benefits. Meantime, a state representative I spoke with says it isn't right when downstate systems don't work for the people who need it. A power disruption forced state websites to temporarily shut down on Wednesday, leaving many people in the state without their SNAP benefits. Tell me what it was like for you when you logged into your account and saw that you had no SNAP benefits today. Um, so it was kind of like extremely frustrating because every time, you know, you have to come here, now you have to sit outside for hours. State Representative David Morales says the state needs to do better. It's about investment. It's about ensuring that we will always have a stable DHS system. This woman says she waited outside DHS for hours to get answers. My kids don't got no food at home. Nobody has eaten breakfast, nothing. And now we don't got no food stamps. The power disruption also affected other state agencies, including forcing the Rhode Island Division of Motor Vehicle to close early. There are some technical aspects that are inevitable and will certainly get in the way. We need to make sure that any time any of our state ran websites and or programs are in danger of glitching, that again, it's not going to impact people. And anyone who had an appointment with DMV, they say you have a standing one until next Friday. Live in Providence, Sarah Grudelli, 12 News.